How's it going guys? My name is ClutchEyes81 and I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm doing pretty good myself because the Resident Evil 4 Remake demo just released about the last week and everybody has been really enjoying the game. I mean, I've been playing the hell out of it myself. I played it like 10 or so times and I saw my boys Corey and Dashy play the game also. And this game looks like it's going to be probably one of the best remakes probably ever made. But guess who isn't enjoying the game that much? Harmon Smith. If you guys want to know who Harmon Smith is, well, I'm just going to summarize it up pretty quickly. Harmon's basically a YouTuber who, who practically neglects anything Nintendo related. I mean, he absolutely hates modern games and will basically downplay modern games super, super hard and basically tell you that these games are just not worth it. He's done this with Elden Ring and Dead Space Remake, Hogwarts Legacy, and of course, whatever's popular and whatever people are enjoying. And of course, he had to melt the cow here again with Resident Evil 4 Remake in a video that we're gonna be taking a look at today, which has some, um, let's just say tasteful opinions. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's just a terrible, terrible take. But you know what, we're gonna be responding to it and we're just gonna be seeing how awful his opinions really are and why this game's just gonna be awesome. I mean, don't get me wrong, Harmon, you're full of shit anyways, but this is not an attack on you and to anyone out there, please don't go attack him. This is just a response video on how I personally feel about it. But enough talking, let's go ahead and react to the clip, shall we? Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of Eye of the Dragon, Cruel and Beautiful Rabbit Hole, Lauren Frey, and the upcoming Jaw of the Dragon. What happened? Like, <laughs> what did I just play? Like, Capcom out of nowhere decides like, okay, we're going to drop a Resident Evil 4 remake trail, uh, d demo. You can play this right now on everything that isn't a Nintendo console, so... Well, damn, Harmon. That's not even a minute in and already it's gonna be a world record for you complaining about a game not being on Nintendo. You do realize the game was never planned for a Switch release because of how shitty the hardware even was? I mean, would you seriously play this game if it was on the cloud like all the other modern RE games? Um, I, I think this really needs to be said before we really, you know, dive deep into, like, everything this game does wrong. But, but first and foremost, and I think the most important thing, you know, something that we should not forget in regards to this kind of thing, especially as we go into, like, Resident Evil 5 remake, which I'm sure is inevitable, Resident Evil 4 did not need to be remade. Okay, I can somewhat understand this statement, as even I was skeptical about Resident Evil 4 being remade completely from the ground up. But I actually gave the original game a chance and I played through it. And while I did love the original, there are so many flaws into it that I didn't see a remake being completely impossible. After all, in the original, the tank controls are a bit outdated, you can't move while aiming, and the graphics look pretty bad today. So I don't mind seeing the story be taken to a different approach and the whole game in that matter. I mean, it's not like the Last of Us remake where it's just Naughty Dog getting a lazy buck. Capcom is actually putting full love and care into this new version of Resident Evil. You know, like, looking at these up visuals, looking at, like, these these modern textures, looking at this, like, you know, the new design decisions, like, the game honestly looks worse on newer hardware than it does originally. Like, the new up graphics made it worth, lose, lose, uh, look worse, right? It doesn't have the stylized visuals, it doesn't have the animation, it doesn't have the fluidity of motion, it doesn't feel natural in a way. Dude, what the hell are you even talking about? Did you seriously play the same game? How can you look at a Resident Evil 4 remake and think that the game doesn't look good? These are some of the best visuals I've ever seen in a modern game in a long, long time. And for the redesigns, it's mostly a matter of personal taste. Like, I really like how Leon and Ashley's designs look in this game, but some of the other character models I'm not a huge fan of, like Lewis or Salazar. But again, it's just a matter of personal taste. But there is no way, seriously, no way in hell you can say that this game looks worse than a game made from 2006 when literally the lighting and the environments look absolutely 100% perfect. Like, we are at that point where games 20 years ago can look better than games being made today. Like, if I wanted anything from Resident Evil 4 Remake, like, I wanted the same exact game with, like, you know, more beautiful, realistic textures and 
maybe some additional content, you know? Like, you know, my idea for Resident Evil 4 Remake was always like, yeah, let's give Ashley a full campaign. Let's give, like, Lewis a full campaign. Let's give Ada, like, a full campaign. Like, a, a full, like, canon campaign. Like, a Separate Ways is not campaign. It is not, like, canon. Well, like it or not, buddy, you didn't get it. And that's exactly why you, nor any hardcore fan of the original, are not developers of the game. Because you would have been fired day one. Resident Evil 4, it was not a perfect, flawless game, and practically nobody wanted just the same game with better graphics, considering Capcom already released Resident Evil 4 in HD. And your point about extra campaigns? Separate Ways was fine and well made in the original, but what the hell would you want to see in an Ashley campaign? Just her screaming, Leon, help, for like two hours? The only sensible thing you said out of the whole thing is if Lewis had his own campaign, but even then, he's definitely having way more screen time in the, in the remake than he did in the original. Like, you can, like, do a lot of things with these, like, characters that are in the game, right? There are, there is, like, you know, additional content you could do with the, with the original idea without changing much. Like, Kirby Return to Dreamland Deluxe is a really good example of that. That game added a lot of content to, and without really changing the way the game plays at all. You know, like, the core experience, it runs better, it looks better, but... At the, at the end of the day, it's the same game, just with additional content. And That's because Return to Dreamland was a remaster, not a remake, you dolt! How in the hell are you an author when you simply don't know the difference between these terms? Return to Dreamland didn't need to change anything because it was a remaster where it basically took the original and just made better graphics, controls, and gameplay. Resident Evil 4 is a remake where they are building the game up from the ground to create a fresh and new experience while staying true to the original title. That's exactly what I wanted from Resident Evil 4 Remake, but instead what we got is modern Resident Evil 4. We got, uh, you know, race swapped Hunnigan. We got, you know, <laughs> Leon speaking Spanish. We have like, you know, just cringe dialogue moments. We have... No, shut up. Just, just, just shut up! I'm sorry for getting a little worked up, but this is just seriously pissing me off. First of all, Hunnigan is not race swapped. She's still brown. And second of all, what's wrong with Leon speaking Spanish? He's in a foreign country, and the fact that he speaks Spanish but is very rusty is actually way more human to his character than the original. Lastly, if you think RE4 has any cringe dialogue, then how do you explain this? I've been expecting you, my brethren. No thanks, bro. <laughs> Women. Ugh, it stinks. Sure does. No way, Leon. Way. <gasps> Thanks. When we get out of here, drinks are on me. Yeah, hey, I know a good bar. Dear God, this is just giving me a headache, but whatever, let's just press on. Thank God, the original cutscenes just always make me laugh. It really dawned on me when I was playing this demo how much it means to me, you know, booting up Resident Evil 4 and, like, every playthrough, going in that house, and then, like, confronting that guy and, like, having your first confrontation. Because in that game, in the original, what happens is that the cutscene plays, and then it cuts to, like, the first ever gameplay section. And you get to, like, you know, fire your first shots, right? You get to, like, you know, fight this guy and beat him. You get a, you get a taste of what's to come. In this game, it's just relegated to a cutscene. Like, Leon realizes his uh, his cop buddy has been abducted somehow. I don't know how they got separated. And then, like, he gets attacked, and then you beat the guy in a cutscene. And then you go in the basement, and uh, it just... The, the pacing is all off. It doesn't make any sense. No, Harmon, the pacing is not off. Sure, you don't fight the first guy, but that's because the game is subverting your expectations. In the remake, things are not exactly like they were in the original, and after Leon kills the first guy, there's a short new segment in the basement, and you're shortly attacked by your first Plagueis. Or Plagueis, I don't even know how the fuck it's pronounced. But basically, the game subverts your expectations and doesn't get you ready by throwing in new obstacles and set pieces. 
That's the whole point of the game. If it was just the original, there would be no tension or build up because veterans of the OG would remember everything. This is like if Nintendo remade Ocarina of Time and they changed up the Deku Tree. I mean, would it change? Would you subvert your expectations and would you complain then? Oh wait, no you wouldn't because you're a Nintendo and that's why. This is more than just a bad remake. This remake just fundamentally does not understand what made the original compelling. Not only from a gameplay perspective, but from a storytelling perspective too. Like it understood that it was a game that was designed to be fun, all right? Like uh, it really embraced the fact that it was a Nintendo exclusive and put like, you know, used that superior technology to its advantage to create like a, a stellar gameplay experience. But with this remake, you know, being not being a Nintendo exclusive, it's more cutscene focused. It's more. Oh my god, you can't make this up. I love how Harmon doesn't even have to hide the fact that he sucks Nintendo off so hard. It's actually worse than my friend Quentin. Again, Resident Evil 4 was not a Nintendo exclusive. Yes, it originally released for the GameCube, but that was not until Capcom pushed for a PS2 release, and it basically became available on every hardware after that. You saying Resident Evil 4 is a Nintendo exclusive would be like if a Sony fanboy said Kingdom Hearts is a uh, Sony exclusive, despite Kingdom Hearts being originally released for PlayStation and then getting ported to various consoles. And superior hardware, my ass. I think everybody can collectively agree that the GameCube version of Resident Evil 4 is the worst version of the game, and the only reason why it's still played is for that nostalgic, rustic feel. And also, what the fuck does that even mean that just because it's not a Nintendo exclusive, it has to be more cutscene orientated? What the fuck are you even talking about? Like, it's gotten really bad in re with these remakes, uh, so much so that, like, you know, playing this remake, I, I really have no desire to actually play the full game. You know, playing the demo for Resident Evil 4, Nick, there, there was nothing about it that made me think that, like, wow, I had to go out and buy this. Like, you know, uh, the 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 enemies, the, the Ganados, they they speak full uh, proper Spanish this time, but, you know, who cares? Like, I, I miss the the uh, the fake <laughs> the fake Spanish from the original. Like, uh, you know. <sighs> yeah, no shit you don't want to buy it. It's because it's not on a Nintendo console. This game was a shitty cloud version that came out on Switch. I'd bet you money that Harmon would have bought RE4 Remake Day 1. And boo-hoo, you got no desire to play it. I always tell people that if a remake bothers you, just play the original. Don't stand up on your soapbox and make awful takes about how this game is ruining the RE franchise. Shut the fuck up. It, it just feels like, you, you know, whatever technical improvements the game might have had over the years, it just comes all together to create an, an objectively inferior product. There is nothing coming from this uh, this demo that makes me think that like I should go out and buy the buy the full game. I thought Resident Evil 2 Remake was pretty solid for what it was. The people who said it was like the best remake ever are full of crap, but uh, you know I liked the first part of Resident Evil 2 Remake. Well, you know I liked the police section uh, station segment. It, it was not bad at all. Oh, Harmon, you are such a liar. It's hilarious. I know you're probably thinking, oh, Cloud, maybe he's got a point. Nah, I spoke about how great Resident Evil 2 Remake was in one of Harmon's community posts like a couple weeks ago, and I've got an undeniable proof that Harmon disliked the game too. Look right here. Fool this man! They, uh, it feels like... Hopefully this is going to be like the last time Resident Evil is, re is relevant, you know, like 7 and 8 I think were like pretty unpopular, uh, you know, spin-offs aren't as popular as they used to be, and like I think I think the series has kind of kept itself alive through these, a lot, through these remakes over the past couple of years. Like, you know, it's the only time I ever see anybody excited about Resident Evil is whenever they're remaking an old game, and in this case, like, uh, you know, 2 and 2 wasn't good to begin with, not that great, and then 3 was a disaster, and 4... He even admits it in his own face. <laughs> oh my god, this man's copium of salt is unreal. And also, just listen to how he's crying about how Ari should be done. My dude, you sound like those crybabies who said Kingdom Hearts 3 killed the franchise. Even though I was one of them, like, years ago. But, but we don't talk about that. I mean, seriously, Ari has been literally the cream of the crop with Capcom since, like, 2017. 7 and 8 were loved because they brought RE back on its feet and they revived the franchise. 2 Remake was a fantastic game that was nominated
nominated for Game of the Year in 2019, and the only real stinker was 3 Remake, but at least 3 Remake didn't kill the franchise like 5 or 6 did, for that matter of fact. Like, dear god, those were terrible RE games, but <laughs> the salt is unreal at this point. And YouTubers and shills are like excited for this, but these are the same people who are like tell, trying to tell you that Devil May Cry 5 is one of the best games ever made, right? These are the same people like trying to tell you that uh, Multiversus is great, or that like uh, Hogwarts Legacy is a 10 out of 10. Like it's just Elden Ring is what is the best selling game ever made. Like these people can't be trusted in any way, shape, or form. And Carmen, that's because people actually liked those games, and who the hell have you been listening to that have said any of those things were the best things ever? Like, DMC5 is not considered the best game ever, but the best action game ever made, and Hogwarts Legacy was absolutely beloved. No one said it was going to be a 10 out of 10 game, though, and again, the only sensible thing you said was Multiversus was great, when in reality, Multiversus was pretty good in its first year, and then it just sort of fell off. It still was widely loved and appreciated, but of course, you'd rather say Bayonetta 3 is like the best game ever made, or Breath of the Wild is a 10 out of 10, or Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is still relevant. You know, I'm just gonna let Psycho Dad take it from here. Yeah, maybe I'll come out and smell the stinking roses, would you please? The main reason people are excited for this is the, the same reason they were excited for Final Fantasy VII R. It's like it's the brand name, right? Like, oh man, those these these third-party developers have finally gotten away from those evil Nintendo, uh, from that evil corporate Nintendo Corporation. So now they can make the game they always wanted to make. And, uh, the game they wanted to make was garbage, you know. Like, <laughs> like Seven R was a uh, was terrible, but these people like really hyped that up. And and now we're seeing the process repeat itself with Resident Evil Four. Uh, remake and and now no Harmon we are not seeing this cycle repeated in fact we never saw it because Final Fantasy 7 remake was still an exceptional and amazing game people admit the game itself was damn incredible but as a remake it sort of faltered similarly people will love Resident Evil 4 remake as a new version of RE4 but of course not everyone is going to love it over the original I would know this myself because personally I enjoyed Final Fantasy 7 remake as a remake as to my favorite game of all time but it wasn't all that great because of all the filler content, but I still really enjoyed it. Similarly, I'll still love RE4, but I would like to see how the remake will evolve an 18-year-old game to the next level. Uh, you know, now that I've actually played the game, I, I have no reservations at all saying that, like, yeah, there, there's 100%, there is no chance, absolutely none, that I will pick this up. Yeah, I, no interest at all, it just, it just plays complete garbage. And... With that being said, uh, you know, with that, will will game journalists and YouTubers try and promote this as like the next big thing? I think they might because this summer is going to be interesting because we have a lot of big, high-profile titles coming out for them this this summer. You, you have like, of course, like Final Fantasy 16 and Resident Evil 4 Remake, and I, I think some other things. So, you know, th this is probably going to be like the best year for PS5 ever before like the Switch starts stopping it again next year. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you can just feel the salt and copium in Harmon's voice. If anything, the Switch is probably going to be in the grave next year because of their lack of hardware and especially the rises in uh, price titles. But Zelda's literally their last hope and I'm pretty sure it'll bite the dust anyways. I really hope this doesn't age like milk, but it'd be hilarious to see Harmon cry about Zelda and that it won't sell well because of its high price tag and being a Switch exclusive. Meanwhile, RE4 is going to be get praised because of being a multi-plat and being a genuinely amazing game. Oh, please, I hope that take doesn't age like milk. Six is basically, like, that's basically what RE4 Remake is. It's just, like, a, it's just four converted into the RE6 engine. Like, it's just, it's the same kind of problem, right? Right? Like, it's just, uh, there will be no... There will essentially, there will eventually be diminishing returns to this kind of stuff. You know, th there's a reason why they rushed through Resident Evil 3 remake so much, because they knew it wouldn't do as well as it Like, this is, I think, their last hurrah, perhaps ever, for this franchise. You know, Street Fighter 6 is looking like a disaster. Like, I, I'm curious to see, like, what Capcom ends up, uh, what situation they end up in going forward. It, it feels as if they're, they are in a very, very poor position. It, yeah, sure, buddy. Capcom is totally in a bad statement. I mean, it's not like they've been putting out banger after banger with the Resident Evil games. It's not like they've been doing a great job since 2017. Am I right? No, they're out the door. 
Oh my god. But anyways, I was just gonna do it for the rest of the video because honestly, Harmon just keeps ranting about Capcom's success and the copium of salt is just basically unreal. RE4 Remake, however, is looking absolutely fantastic and there is no way in hell that Capcom is going to let up anytime soon. I mean, an RE9 is inevitable and honestly, I cannot wait for this game to launch on March 24th because right now, the demo and the game itself is just perfect. And Harmon's just upset because this might be potential Game of the Year competition to his precious little Tears of the Kingdom. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and um, if you guys want me to do more fanboy videos, want me to cover more fanboys out on YouTube, or more of Harmon's awful takes, just let me know and I'll go ahead and do so. But until then, thank you again for watching, have yourselves a fantastic night, and stay safe, and... Thank you for 100 subscribers. I never got the opportunity to thank you guys. Your support means so much to me. And until then, it's great to be back. Where's everyone going to go? To bingo, obviously. I'll see you guys again.